Hey guys, and welcome back to another weekend vlog. Today I have a bridal preview that I'm going to be setting up for here pretty soon. My client is supposed to get here in about 20 minutes. I literally can't remember the last time that I actually had a bridal preview. I feel like it's been about a month now. I usually do the bridal previews about two months in advance. So now I would actually be getting back into like my winter-ish kind of weddings and I don't have as many weddings then. So that's probably why they've died down significantly. I usually go ahead and first set up my chair. It's usually tucked in like this corner over here. I usually set it up kind of in the middle of the room so I have enough light coming in through the windows. Luckily, it is pretty sunny today so I won't have to use artificial lighting. If anybody's wondering, by the way, this came off of Amazon. I can link it down below for you guys. It's literally just a camping chair. I don't carry it around to like every single job if I don't have to. I'll just carry it around if I absolutely need to. The tray just comes up like this. Sorry, my husband's vacuuming in the background. There's this little footrest of Velcros right here so you just unvelcro it and then place it down. And then that's pretty much what the chair looks like all set up. I already got up my bride's contract. I always print out hard copies just so I can have them to reference and just so I can take notes on them if I need to. At the very end of the bridal previews, I'll go ahead and review the things that my bride put on the contract. Cause sometimes my bride signed with me more than a year in advance from their wedding. And a lot of things have changed since then. I'll probably be fast forwarding through the rest of this because I did upload a video on my channel at one point in time about how I set up my station. So I'm gonna go ahead and just link up that video and then I'll just zoom through this really quickly. This is what the station setup looks like. Just got my kit all unfolded here. Then I have my little mini trash can. Then I have a couple eyeshadow palettes that I commonly use right here. And then I also set up my acrylic palette, my spatula, and then my tools that I need. So my lash applicator, lash glue, and then scissors to cut the lashes. Also, I usually like to light a candle somewhere in the room just for like a little bit of ambiance. And also because it literally smells like dog in my room, which is kind of unfortunate because of all this carpet. I wish it was like a hardwood floor or something. And then I go ahead and just play on a Spotify playlist. Get some background music going on. I hate when it's like awkwardly silent. That's pretty much about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait till my client gets here. Okay, I just finished with the bridal preview and literally this is my mess that I'm gonna have to clean up a little bit later. For right now, I'm actually heading out because I'm currently in the process of getting a new passport. Mine expired at the beginning of last year. I am going to go ahead and go to get my passport photo taken. I need to go to Walgreens. I think Walgreens, their photo center takes them. But I have all my documents and everything. It's so hot today, guys. It is so freaking hot. Anyways, the bridal preview went absolutely fantastic. This girl was so sweet because she has not experienced a professional makeup application, nor has she ever worn false lashes before. She looked like an Instagram baddie. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just head to Walgreens right now to get my passport photo taken because you need like a four by four passport photo, I think. If you guys don't know, I've been in my name change process for probably like the last month or so. I got married in 2020 and like just started changing my name. Photo secured. So now I just need to bring in all my documents. Hopefully this place can do it. It's not at an actual like official United States Postal Service location, but it is a pack mail and I think they do passport renewal. So I'll have to double check. Otherwise I'll have to go actually find a United States Postal Service place to go drop it off. Mission accomplished. They were able to take all my renewal documents and they sent it out for me, which is awesome. I also made sure I got tracking on it. I wanna make sure it gets to them, okay? <laughs> they said it should take like eight to 11 weeks, which is between two to three months. Months, I kind of assumed it would be about that long. So yeah, hopefully everything goes okay and I get a new passport here pretty soon. <laughs> I just got an Instagram message from one of my brides that is getting married on September 30th and her hairstylist literally just backed out on her. It's September 2nd, by the way. Who exactly has the audacity to like just be canceling on these brides? I just feel so freaking bad for like these brides. And also what the hell are other makeup artists slash hairstylist excuses for this? You literally have to be dying or have some sort of family emergency or some sort of illness that's preventing you from doing somebody's wedding because other Otherwise than that, there's like literally no other excuse. Like I don't understand, honestly. It's not like these hairstylists or other makeup artists that are canceling are like actively trying to find replacements for them. Hey, so I can't make it for your wedding. Good luck finding somebody a month out 
from your wedding. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill out my consultation sheet for the bridal preview because I need to clean up all this stuff and like write down everything that I used on the bride. And then I need to prep for tomorrow's wedding because I have to clean all my kit and then like a bunch of brushes and prep all the touch-up kits and everything. Right. It is currently a little bit later and I am just restocking my kit. I need to refill all my little spray bottles here. And then this is like about empty full of cotton pads and sponges and everything. This is my alcohol. Need to refill the setting spray. And that is the Scandinavia setting spray that I use. For once, I actually don't have to restock on lashes because I did that yesterday. Just need to refill my disposables. Now I just have to prep the touch-up kits. I have nine people tomorrow. I'm doing five people and my assistant is doing four people. So I'm not doing the entire nine person bridal party by myself this time. That would be a lot of people. Usually whoever is the primary person between me and my assistant, primary artist, the one who actually booked the bride originally is the one who preps the touch-up kits. So since I am the primary artist, I am doing all the nine touch-up kits got all the touch-up kits together. I'm probably gonna pack a few extras just in case anybody wants to be added on at the last minute because sometimes that happens. I'm pretty much just gonna be chilling for the rest of the night, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It is currently 6.42 in the morning. I wasn't actually supposed to wake up till seven. I feel like I had a super restless night last night just because last weekend, if you guys didn't see my vlog, my alarm didn't go off. Now I have this fear that I'm not gonna freaking wake up for any of my jobs. I was up like every single hour checking my phone since like 4.30 in the morning. So it's been a really fun night for me, guys. I also really am glad that I have my secondary artist to help me today. It just kind of lessens the burden and she also just makes me feel a lot more calm whenever I'm actually doing the makeup applications as opposed to going in there alone. I'm gonna start getting myself ready. I have to leave my house at around eight o'clock. Okay, sorry I didn't touch base with you guys right after I got ready. I just have like on a really like natural kind of makeup look. I did like little individual lashes on the outer corners. I'm not gonna hit anything, weirdo. The sensors in my car need help. I'm just heading out to Union 12 right now and I'm just going to be meeting my assistant there. I'm probably going to get there really freaking early but i just don't want to run into any trains because that would be like my worst nightmare also fun fact i thought that i had the rest of today after i got done with the wedding because usually i don't schedule anything else afterwards but i stupidly enough scheduled myself a bridal preview after this so hopefully everything goes really smooth with the wedding so i can just you know, be in a better headspace for the actual bridal preview because I always like to leave a good first impression with the brides that I meet. Okay, I'm actually parked at a gas station right now that's like literally maybe five minutes from the venue. It's across the train track, so at least I don't have to deal with that. But I'm gonna wait here just so I'm not like awkwardly chilling in the parking lot for a little bit. I just hate when I over-prepare sometimes for things, but at the same time, I'd rather be really early than really late or late at all. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about this. I normally don't bring my chair unless I absolutely need to. Like, unless there is more than like four people, I'll bring my chair. Other than that though, I'll kind of do research on the venues ahead of time to see if there's a high chair I can use at the actual place that I'm getting ready at. So say it's like maybe at somebody's house or Union 12, for instance, has high chairs already, so I don't have to bring any. Also, same thing with my actual lighting system. I don't usually bring that unless I know that I'm showing up there before the sun comes out and I'm not gonna have any natural 
natural light. Otherwise, if it's maybe at somebody's house in a dining room that has natural light and there's sunshine coming in, then I won't bring my lighting system at all. Again, you kind of just have to do research ahead of time. You can always ask the bride if the room that you're setting up in has a natural light source or at least maybe request it so then you don't have to bring a lighting system with you. Don't let them like shove you into bathrooms or anywhere that like is unhygienic or anything and then just set up probably in like a dining room or a kitchen or something if you do somebody's house. Otherwise, if you're like in hotels, they usually have windows right by the desk in front of them. And then obviously venues are sometimes set up with bridal suites that have like natural LED lights or they have natural light sources that you can use. But yeah, I don't like to bring my lighting system or a chair if I don't have to because it's just literally an extra thing I have to carry with me. Amongst all the other heavy things that I carry with me, like I normally carry my um, bag right here and then I also have my brush belt that's sitting on the ground there. And then I also have my camera to film for you guys too. So it totally depends on what your situation is. Okay, I'm currently here right now. It looks like there are people in the parking lot here, but I'll wait till my assistant gets here. Also, just a side note, there's this company called MBN Properties. They built this venue and then also the paper mill downtown and they build absolutely amazing houses and I would love to have a house built by them except for they're all like over half a million dollars. So there's that. But they build like incredible houses. They have such a unique flair and all of their floor plans are very uniquely set up. They're not like common floor plans that you normally would see. I'm just so tired of having like mass produced houses like that and MBN just like really specializes on having a custom house built for the person. But yeah, I would love to have a house built by them just like a side note. <laughs> well, I think that's my assistant that just pulled in. Why did she park behind me? She just awkwardly parked behind me. Why didn't she just park next to me? There's like plenty of space. Also, do you want to say page. hi to my vlog? <laughs> this is Mallory, guys. She's literally the best. <laughs> We're a dream team. We work great I love, together. I love when you tag me because like I'll get so many followers. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, you're welcome again. I know. Thank you. I'm like, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. I'm Nicole. Nicole Mallory. <laughs> Mallory. Nice I'm Julie. Julie, nice yeah. to meet you girls. I will be with you for the day. Great, great. You want to just do our normal? Yep, normal setup. Do you want to take a mirror selfie again? Do some mirror selfies. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Talk about my scam. Contour because I just got it. That's what I normally yeah. do. And then... <laughs> Get in there, Mallory. Get in there. I'm getting it. <laughs> getting your action shots for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me fix my hair.
show you what a good time looks like You can't do better, so much better Okay, <laughs> I got done with the wedding and I actually had to leave my assistant there because it took us a little bit longer than normal because we had to do like a bunch of touch-ups at the very end. I didn't want to leave her since it was my wedding, but the problem is I had to be home at 1.30 because I had a bridal preview scheduled. So I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, I really have to go because it was like one o'clock. But then what was really awesome is my bride that is doing the bridal preview with me texted me around 12 40 and goes so i'm still in my bridal trial for my hair and i don't think i'm going to be there until 1 45 and i was like oh my god thank goodness i texted her back and i go hey so i'm actually just wrapping up at the wedding so that's perfect like you don't need to feel bad at all because she was feeling bad that she was running behind for me and normally I would probably get really antsy about it but at the same time like I need more time <laughs> so then I texted her back and I was like do you want to just like say two o'clock and just not crunch it for both of us and so she's like actually that works out perfectly thank you so much and I was like no thank you but anyways the wedding went absolutely great um the girls that I got were absolutely gorgeous like literally no complaints about anything i just feel like everything went super smoothly okay let me go ahead and get in the garage here and go inside don't even have enough time to eat like i really didn't plan this well guys oh my god literally just walked in the door and started like chugging like sweet tea because i need sugar like my blood sugar is not doing so well guys mm. okay yeah so i still have enough in my brush belt I don't need to clean any of my palettes because I did clean all my palettes and spatula beforehand. I got a new towel to put out on my station. This is fine. Just need to put a new trash bag in the trash can. Okay. <laughs> Literally, these are all my dirty brushes. Like, I'm just gonna put these in my bathroom. Also, I'm glad I brought extra touch-up kits because Mallory actually ended up adding on one person. So we each had five people. There's always that one bridesmaid that doesn't sign up for makeup like everybody else and then instantly regrets it and then literally wants to be added on at the end. It always happens. Okay, now I have to go through and just like sanitize everything with alcohol. Luckily, the bride that I'm doing her bridal preview has a pretty simple look. Um, I've done it like multiple different times on other people and she even referenced my own photo, which was awesome. I love when brides like take my own portfolio and reference that just so I know that I've obviously already done it before. And it's just a little bit easier for me rather than people just pulling pictures off of Pinterest because I'm like, obviously you hired me for a reason and there must be a certain look that you really liked on my page. So I'd rather people pull from my own portfolio whenever they're actually like doing reference photos. This is literally all my stuff that I have now that I had to clean. All right, I still have a half hour to kill. Um, so I might heat up food really quickly and like try to scarf something down because I like need to eat something. I haven't eaten anything all day. Such is the life of a makeup artist, you know? All right, I just finished up with the bridal preview and it went really well. My bride has never gotten a really great makeup experience before. I was literally determined to make it a really great experience for her and it turned out so good. She had a little bit of texture on her skin that she obviously knew couldn't disappear completely but i made her feel really good about it really wish i took a before picture looks like this and she had more of like a rose goldy kind of tone in person it looks a little bit more of like a champagne tone in this picture specifically but it was a little bit more of like a rose gold kind of look but it looks so pretty i got the look that she wanted with the full coverage it still didn't look heavy or cakey or feel that way on her skin and that's exactly what i wanted and she literally almost cried after the bridal preview and 
and that makes me feel so great as an artist. Right now, I'm just filling out her consultation sheet. Also, I know I haven't mentioned this in a while, but my consultation sheets, the bridal contract templates and also the accounting templates are still for sale on shopjulieruby.com. I still have that website up. I'll probably still continue to leave it up to be completely honest. Right here is the bridal consultation form, then client name. Then I have room for skincare and then eyes and eyebrows, so like any eyeshadow or brow stuff that I use on her. Then there is foundation, concealer, then I have powder lips, um, and then also any allergies or anything that they have. I usually ask if people are sensitive or allergic to anything. And here's where I put my notes section. So she specifically got oily in her T-zone, so I like to note that. And also any like personal things about somebody too, like if you wanna memorize like maybe their fiance's name or something, or if you wanna put down maybe what occupation they have, just so you have it for later, because sometimes you're doing like the bridal preview several months in advance. And so it's just kind of nice to keep all the brides straight. <laughs> and the really funny thing though, is that I think she says she found me on YouTube. I don't know, it's so weird because she just randomly happen upon somebody's YouTube channel that works in the same area that you are getting married at, that she likes their work and everything. That's so rare. At the same time though, it kind of makes me feel so weird because um, people watching you on YouTube, I feel like have like a certain expectation. What if I'm not the same person on camera as I am in person? But she's like, nope, you're exactly the same. And I'm like, okay, cool. That is pretty much about it for this video. Um, I really don't have anything else to do this weekend as far as jobs go because it's Labor Day weekend. Definitely go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys stayed all the way till the end. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. About 80% of you that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. So if you guys are not, what are you doing? As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.